So uh, welcome everyone um, to this uh, online event um, showcasing the um, collective volume called uh, Ancient Skies of uh, Banat, uh, which is um, a volume edited by uh, myself and uh, Simina, who's uh, currently traveling and um, could not uh, join us. So uh, this recording will be made available uh, to um, all who have registered um, afterwards, even those that are not able to uh, join us uh, for this presentation. So um, I will I will go through the story behind this uh, idea that we had. And uh, then I will leave each of, uh, of the authors present. Uh, some of them are present, not all of them, uh, to say a few words on, um, on, on their uh, work, on their contribution. So let's get going. Um, so for those of you who do not know yet, uh, this is where we are. So uh, it's a central uh, region of Europe. Uh, if you draw a, a circle of uh, a thousand kilometers, you can reach uh, most of the uh, continent um, quite easily. It is a region that spans um, the present day uh, territories of uh, Romania, Serbia, and um, Hungary, and uh, it's a rich area in terms of uh, culture, ethnicity, and it has been the home to a lot of um, cultures over time, um, and even some of the earliest cultures in Europe. It has also been at the crossroad of ancient migration trade routes. To give you a better idea of what you find in this area, um, I've placed inside this map some of the key, I would say, archaeological sites that uh, we have investigated and the authors of this collective volume have investigated. So um, as you can see, there are lots of things going on. And over time, we have had a lot of cultures inhabiting the area. So uh, we colored um, here, you have the different cultures and their approximate um, span. So dating back from the uh, Mesolithic, um, so Lepensky Veer uh, in, in red and all the way to uh, late Bronze Age cultures uh, that have given birth to some of the uh, largest sites in, in, in Europe, including this one, uh, Cornish Arkur, which I've actually seen. Um, I've been to Timisoara, the uh, informal capital of, of Banat, uh, a few days ago for the Easter um, um, uh, celebration. And, and, and when, 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 when uh, leaving Timisoara, you can actually see from the plane, and I took some pictures uh, of this huge site. So it's like, it's like, a, a, like those geoglyphs in, um, in Peru and elsewhere in the world where you can only see them uh, at the best from the air. So it was quite, uh, quite uh, extraordinary. So lots of things going on. So this kind of uh, tells you a little bit about the potential of the area. And in this image here, um, I, I've put some of the key sites that uh, I have investigated um, as part of, of um, related research. And, and you can see here that um, even nowadays, so if, if the previous slide showed the uh, prehistory of, of the area, this shows the contemporary 
uh, layout. So you have a lot of sundials with the letter C um, here um, in Romanian sundial is Cadran Solar. So um, this is why you have the letter C there. Uh, and um, a lot of uh, dark skies, good for observations. And um, a lot of places where we have found astronomical symbols uh, on houses. So um, you can see here um, almost everywhere in, in, in the region. And this only covers the Romanian part, the Serbian part here um, remains to be to be studied in detail. Uh, so there is a lot of potential for, for, for further work. So here you have lots of uh, symbols, solar symbols on traditional houses that, that tell a story uh, about how uh, the skies have always played an important role on um, in, in, in the inhabitants' um, well um, traditions. So uh, all of this needed uh, to be known. And, and especially it needed to be known outside of, of Romania and outside of Serbia and, and why not Hungary, even if Banat just touches a little bit of, of Hungary, most of it is in Romania and Serbia. So in 2018, we started and we published uh, Astronomy of the Ancients, Archaeastronomy and Ethnoastronomy on the present day territory of Romania. Um, and, and it was a, a, another collective volume, this time in, in Romanian. So it was, you know, it's, uh, it was nice for the Romanian people, but uh, from our point of view, we felt like we needed more. So this is, this is how um, on 29th April, three years ago in 2020, uh, I sent uh, this email to everybody here in this list. So Alexandra, uh, Milan, um, Tamash from, from Serbia and, and Leo, uh, Professor Lazarovic, uh, his wife, Cornelia, uh, Gula, Mircha um, from, from Romania and asked them, uh, all right, uh, we have this uh, European Society Conference on, on Cultural Astronomy in 2021. Unfortunately, it was delayed. We had it last year um, in 2022, uh, and, and, and the book wasn't ready uh, then. Unfortunately, we, we, we were still discussing with the publisher, and it went through reviews and, and all those publishing steps, which take a lot of time. Um, so unfortunately, we couldn't have that book then, uh, but all, all these guys here uh, agreed to, um, to uh, collaborate and, and produce a nice book uh, on, on, on the archaeastronomy of um, and ethnoastronomy of the region. And of course, it was edited by, by, by myself. I'm... I'm uh, a computer scientist and archaeastronomer at the same time, and, and, and my wife, uh, Smina, uh, a philologist uh, specializing in the history of languages, um, took care of, of some of the editing and, and um, all the, um, you know, things that in, are involved in, in putting this project together. So, uh, it took three years to get here. Um, however, uh, in anticipation and, and, and not to wait that much, um, in, in 2020, in one of the conferences of the Romanian Society for Astronomy and Culture, um, we started a, a short documentary. And, and uh, in this documentary, uh, we had people from like like Nick Campion from the UK, Emilia Pastor from Hungary, again Alexandra and Leo, and then myself um, discussing about the region, the Banat region. And what's nice is that everybody talks in their native languages, and and it's subtitled in English. So um, if you just scan the QR code here, I will post in in the chat the link as well. Uh, you can watch it online. It's a 15-minute short documentary. It's really interesting outlining the 
um, the area, and uh, the link is also in the um, in, in in the book, uh, which is this one. Uh, actually, uh, I I just got the book uh, a few days back. It's been out for for a month or so, but I just got it when I when I went back home. And, and I was surprised to see that it's uh, uh, it, it's in color. So uh, the publishing house actually didn't tell me that. Um, I, I was uh, I was uh, like you know it's uh, just print it. Usually they print it in black and white because it's cheaper. Uh, but this time I think they loved the uh, the nice colored images and then they 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 have a, a full color book. So it, it was a very nice surprise. Um, at the end, and and the link is also in is also in the book as well. So uh, here we are, three years later. Uh, we have uh, published this seven chapters, uh, three hundred and eighty eighty two pages. And Emilia Pastor from from Hungary, a famous archaeologist at Turist Van Museum, uh, was nice enough to and kind enough to provide us with a foreword. Um, on, uh, on, on the book, and uh, I'll just read a few lines of, from this. So uh, here, here is what Emilia has to say. Emilia is an, uh, a member of the International Society for Archaeoastronomy and Astronomy and Culture, uh, and works at the Tourist Van Museum in Baja, uh, Baja, uh, Hungary. I felt joy and pride when I could take this book on the cultural astronomy landscape in Banat in hand and read it. It is a pleasure that the interest in cultural astronomy continues to develop in this region as well because little information is published about cultural astronomical monuments in this part of Europe. This is very much needed. So we know a lot about Stonehenge, we know a lot about um, work on megaliths, uh, uh, so things that happen in, in Western Europe, but we know little about what's going on in, in Central and Eastern Europe. So uh, she, um, um, she goes on uh, for, 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 for two more pages and, and, and she, she admits that she, while she doesn't agree, uh, probably, uh, well, we would meet with some of the things here and she has a different opinion, uh, she believes that this kind of uh, uh, perspective needs to be highlighted and also um, it's a rich ground for further um, discussions. And, and, and progress as well. So um, uh, she, 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 she concludes saying, as a, as a researcher dedicated to archaeoastronomy, I was also glad to read all of the chapters which prove the survival of cultural astronomy and the development of scientific astronomical research in Banat. So um, some nice words from, from Emilia um, here. And um, just to give you some 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 brief uh, 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 overview of what's happening in the book, so um, uh, it, it starts with with a brief history of the region because we, I mean, uh, obviously uh, somebody who's unaware of of, of the area uh, won't be able to put everything in context. So um, this is what happens in chapter one. And then in, in chapter two, it's all about archaeoastronomy and symbols and connections. It's uh, uh, Professor Lazarovich does, is an archaeologist specialized in, in, in Neolithic and in symbolism. Um, he has, he's had a lot of collaborations with, with people outside Romania, uh, Italy especially. Um, um, and um, he does a great job uh, describing the Neolithic and, and what's happening there. Um, and then staying in Neolithic in chapter three, Alexandra and Tamash uh, discuss about the sites in the Serbian Banat and um, also sites which are uh, less investigated. So by using uh, uh, satellite imagery, they identify a lot of uh, sites and um, 
lay out the ground for uh, future research. Uh, moving on from, from, from Neolithic and, and, and uh, uh, going to the Bronze Age, we have um, a chapter on the astronomy in the Bronze Age. Uh, Leo um, does a great job describing the, uh, the, the, the area. He's interested, he's done a lot of research in, in, in the Bronze Age. A lot of research on Kornesh Tiarkur. Those of you have, that have been at the uh, SEAT conference in Timishara uh, have seen his movie about uh, about the area. And then and then we slowly move towards the um, uh, present uh, times, uh, where uh, Gula has has a, a, a chapter on the sundials that are present here, um, mostly on, on Catholic churches. So sundials are part of the culture. We have lots of sundials uh, in, in, in Romania, especially in Transylvania, but we also have them in Banat as well. And uh, there is a nice story around them and, 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 and Gula tries to uh, tell us about this. And the, the last two chapters uh, are about Astronomy and astronomers in the uh, in in the Banat region, so it's both Serbian and Romanian, and um, it is about uh, the history of this, what how how it appeared, how it evolved, uh, centered around uh, at, at first centered around Timisoara, which was the capital in in the nineteenth century. Uh, of, of the of the region, and then slowly moving to present um, times. So um, this is in in, in a nutshell. I, I do have some other slides, but I, I don't want to miss out the opportunity for our um, uh, authors, some of them, to um, tell us a few words. So I, I will start. I will start with uh, uh, Leo. Uh, because he's he's been involved in in, in two chapters, the history and um, the Bronze Age, and and I would like to um, ask him uh, to tell us in in two minutes, uh, two three minutes, uh, how was his experience? How was um, how was the you know uh, the research? Um, um, did he, uh, how did he find it? Um, was it, uh, did he find anything uh, out of the ordinary? Because I know, I, I know some, some of the authors here uh, did have some, uh, uh, you know, eureka moments <laughs> when, when researching, um, but I'll get back to that. So Leo. Um, First of all, I would like to start by thanking the generous editors Femina and Mark Franku, without whom this book would not have existed. I also want to thank the publishing house of the West University in Timisoara, which gave life to it in its paper format, and my friend Sorin Fotsiu, historian of the medieval Banat, who gave me important support in the completion of the first chapter. This chapter is uh, introductory and uh, is to briefly outline the geography and history of the Banat region. Our hope is that we facilitate the understanding of the general framework in which the topics of this volume's article are described. We start uh, with the meaning of the origin of the Banat word when then proceed to the presentation of its geographical characteristic of the region and its location in the center of Europe. We then relate the history of the region from prehistory to the contemporary revolt, uh, passing by antiquity, that of migration, the period of Hungarian kingdom, the Ottoman occupation, the Habsburg conquest and administration, the interwar period and the Second World War, the communist and post-communist periods. Defended and conquered with population that migrated and emigrated, subject to radical transformation over time with various dominions with an average duration of about 200 years, 
Ghana becomes not without effort a territory of coexistence and acceptance of diversity of multilingualism. In this region, as a Serbian proverb says, every language you know it's another life added to existence. The chapter uh, Astronomy at the End of the Bronze Age in Barat, a question out of place and time, aims to give a present overview on aspects related to the archaeoethnoastronomy of some important archaeological sites from the Bronze Age period in the Romanian Banat with focus on the Timish county in Romania. Okay, uh, it's a list of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around 10 uh, sites. And uh, the sites are in relation to mountain peaks and astronomical alignments, especially during the solstice and equinoxes at sunrise. Considering that their location was chosen to enable ceremonies of a solar cult, However, there are situations in which there are favorable conditions for astronomical observation related to what is called the astronomy of the horizon. And in a particular case at Cornish Teatur, we can suppose that a part of this construction has been built with the scope of very accurate astronomical observation. We believe that we have enough elements to continue these studies. There are too many coincidences related to astronomical phenomena and associated to archaeological sites belonging to the end of the Bronze Age in Bama. We are at the start of the scientific research of the late Bronze Age period in Bama, and we are sure that in the future more evidence will appear around the so-called Yark report and its role in the wider European context. Okay, it's, uh, I, I have read, I, I didn't spoke uh, freely. You asked me to, to give some opinions. Okay, that uh, in a book, only a snapshot of what it's about in the Romanian part. Uh, probably, in time with uh, artificial intelligence will be a lot of work to do to clarify all these surprising uh, and uh, unbelievable aspects about uh, this uh, late bronze age period in Europe. Um, Alexandra? Um... If, if you would like to say a few words on, um, on, on your work. Uh, first of all, archaeologists in Serbia are not inclined to think about astronomy and archaeoastronomy and astronomy and culture with the rare exceptions, which can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Many archaeological sites have been uh, investigated in the Serbian part of Banat, but the archaeoastronomical hypothesis has not been taken into account at any of them. The necessary measurements have not been carried out and research documentations, uh, documentation is very difficult to reach. It is widely known that this area has been inhabited by humans since the Paleolithic times. Traces of Gravetian culture were found the most developed culture in the Mesolithic. Mesolithic. The culture of Lepenskivir has several important localities which geographically belong to Banat. The eastern horizon of the Lepenskivir settlement of uh, which this culture got its name, belongs to the Romanian part of Banat. The site of Starcevo near Pančevo and near Belgrade, which gave its name to the old uh, Neolithic culture, as well as several other settlements belonging to it, are also located in Banat. 
The winter culture, which belongs to the younger Neolithic, also covers a significant part of this area in Serbia, Romania, and Hungary. And there are very important, uh, these are very important European cultures. Unfortunately, not very well known. Uh, so there are clear indications that these cultures also mastered some knowledge uh, uh, about the sky and the movement of celestial objects. Uh, in the same area, there are also traces of significant cultures of Bronze Age and Iron Age and so on. In 1914, when the Society for Archaeoastronomical and Ethnoastronomical Research was founded here, um, practically the first site that we explored was Lepenskivir. And as you already said, there we discovered the oldest known solar alignment in Europe. From every point inside the borders of this settlement, it was possible to observe summer solstice sunrise on the flattened top of Treskovat, we, we call it Treskovat. And all the settlement was measured according to this astronomical event. And the next site was the fruit of our cooperation. It is the circular formation near Varsats, uh, you call it Varsat, if I'm not wrong. And uh, this site is very interesting and there are many similar sites around. So with this state of affairs, Tamash and I could look only for the formations similar to this one near Varsat, Varsat on satellite maps. We ourselves were surprised by the number of these in this part of Banat. This means that the work is practically at the very beginning, but that beginning is promising. We are encouraged that we have a support of large number of Serbian astronomers. So we are quite sure that we will not make a mistake, at least on that part of the task. Uh, collaboration with you and Leonard has already led to the creation of this book for the beginning. Of course, we will continue together. The author of the Sundials of Banat, uh, Gula Miholksha, uh, please, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, first of all, there is always, I am uh, asked why sundials in archaeoastronomy. If we cut the word archaeoastronomy to archaeo and astronomy, I can say that sundial is the most archaic astronomical instrument. <laughs> so the connection is very clear. And uh, another um, motive is that uh, uh, the sundial is put to work by a star, in fact. So a few words about uh, my work. Um, I uh, was offered by Mark to uh, write about the sundials in Banat. I accepted very uh, happy because I already studied the sundials, but only in the uh, Romanian region. And I was curious what is about the Serbian region uh, in connection with the sundials. I was not there, but I was looking on the internet and I found them. I think I found all of them all those sundials. And it is interesting that the Serbian part of the Banat is half, almost half of the Romanian part. And there are also the number of sundials in the Serbian Banat is also, is also half of the Romanian sundials. These sundials uh, appeared, the most of them appeared after, uh, appeared in the 18th century. There are only two very old sundials, 
one is surely very old in uh, uh, Sremska Mitrovica, that is a Roman sundial, and one sundial we found in uh, uh, Moldova Veke. It is not sure that it's sundial, and we have no idea uh, when the period when it was uh, made. But the rest of the sundials are from the 18th century and later the today sundials. Why from uh, the 18th century? It, uh, the explanation is given by um, by this, <laughs> very simple. It is written there that it is since, since 1718. Why is this beer from that period? Because the Austrians liberated Banat in uh, uh, 1716 and uh, from the Turks, of, of course, and uh, they uh, left their army there and they made a beer factory for the army and that factory was finished in, 18, uh, in uh, seven, 1718. And the uh, Austrians brought the uh, uh, Swabe inhabitants, the German-speaking inhabitants in uh, Banat, who brought the, the uh, science of the sundials. So they began to make sundials also in the Romanian part of the Banat and in the Serbian part of the Banat. In the Hungarian part, that little uh, territory, there is no sundial. It is a very little ter territory in Hungary. There are only sundials made today in uh, uh, our days. So the most part of the sundials are on churches. And why? Because uh, people had to know when to go to pray. It is very, very simple explanation. And the second reason that the, uh, the sundials are put on the uh, tower of the uh, of the uh, church, so everybody could see the time. What is the time during a day? So we can say that the sundial um, made the gave gave the rhythm of the life in a village, because everybody was uh, made his job after the sundial after the hour, which was shown by the sundial. Um, something new. So, so I saw that uh, the Banat is the whole Banat. Uh, the sundials in the Banat were made in the same style on the churches in the same period in the Romanian part and also in the Serbian part. And uh, at the end, I want to. I am sorry that I, the book pictures from the Serbian uh, sundials because I was told that I should not use very <laughs> too much pictures. But there is uh, one picture in the Serbian part which has a motto that is very interesting. It is written in Serbian language and in Hungarian language. And it means it. Uh, if I, I translate, that means one of these hours is your last one. <laughs> so when you die, you will die in one of these hours. It is interesting because other people, and in general, as we can read that I count only the, uh, the sunny hours of your life. It is very true. And this one, he wrote there that we will die in one of those hours. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have seen uh, a little bit about what the chapters on, on prehistory, Bronze Age, uh, sundials contain. And now we, we kind of need to get an overview of what's happening in terms of astronomy and research and how it evolved. And, and Milan and Mircea uh, have. Uh, two nice studies, uh, one in Serbian, one in Romanian, even if uh, from, from an editor point of view, uh, I, I noticed some overlaps. Uh, so uh, uh, they didn't know, but unwillingly they 
the Milan discussed about Timisoara and, and uh, astronomers uh, uh, living there, studying there, and, and also Mircea uh, uh, discussed about astronomers that left for Serbia or, or now live in the Serbian part, uh, because uh, up till 1918, um, this um, the, the, this region, this layout, uh, this division between the three countries was not uh, present. So uh, the whole territory was differently uh, in terms of who governed it. Uh, so uh, Mircea, can you briefly tell us about your experience? I, I know, I know uh, that you were the last one to submit the 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 that the, the work um it took you over a year maybe two years to 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 investigate everything so you, you kept discovering things it was really a, a long process uh so uh i think i think from this perspective you have a unique view of of uh, what's going on <laughs> so mircha <laughs> you have the floor Okay, so uh, the things you told previously, it make me uh, to be suspicious. Uh, you did talk to my wife uh, when you told that I was the last one. <laughs> because uh, uh, I was uh, maybe the laziest of the, of the group. Um, however, uh, the um, experience to write this article, it was very interesting uh, for me. I started with, with just uh, a uh, couple of uh, things knowing about the past of uh, uh, Banat uh, region. I'm living in Arad on the northern border of, uh, of uh, Banat. Um, I made many visits to my uh, um, amateur astronomer friends in Timisoara. I knew uh, uh, many of them, we worked together, but about the history of uh, astronomy in, uh, in uh, Banat, I didn't know uh, uh, too much. Uh, the first thing I learned writing this chapter was uh, um, something I learned uh, elsewhere also. Uh, you cannot do alone uh, too much. You always need help. I want to join uh, Leo and to thanks to to the editors, uh, to the publishing house for uh, for this occasion uh, to uh, for me to to take part in in uh, such a project. Uh, why I say in this a part of uh, of uh, 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 being kind. I learned a lot of things uh, uh, when I wrote uh, um, this uh, chapter. Uh, looking to the past of, uh, of Banat, I found out something very interesting. Hundreds of years previous to what is now known as, uh, as uh, European Union, in Banat region, there was uh, uh, really uh, uh, multicultural uh, uh, life, and we see this in uh, in astronomy. Uh, why I'm saying this? Because uh, the first uh, uh, geographical uh, uh, coordinates determinations for many uh, um, many uh, points along Danube uh, River and including in, uh, in uh, Banat, uh, was made uh, by uh, uh, Count Marsili. There we have uh, uh, the start of uh, astronomical activity uh, in, uh, in Banat. Then we are passing through the works of uh, Griselini, who, who uh, was more on the uh, natural sciences. Um, I mentioned uh, events in, on, in the 18th, 19th centuries, like the meteorite uh, falls at uh, Kakova and uh, Jordani. These were investigated by uh, scientists and teams uh, either from, uh, from Vienna 
uh, Hardinger or uh, either uh, from uh, the um, Academy of Science from, uh, from uh, Budapest. Um, then we, uh, I, I was looking also to, to uh, the activity, the writings of Simeon uh, Manjuka, who in uh, everyday life was a lawyer. Uh, in his spare time, he was a, a, a folk folklorist, a ethnographer. He founded uh, Ethnobotany in, uh, in Romania, and he, he wrote the very interesting uh, little-known studies uh, about, uh, about uh, um, the carols, uh, their origin, uh, and other such uh, customs. Then uh, um, I investigated the activities uh, of uh, um, um, personalities like uh, Theodor Chontea and uh, uh, Laurent Utwes. It was uh, it was for me uh, uh, um, uh, a very interesting uh, subject. I was uh, quite impressed uh, by the fact that. Uh, such a brilliant uh, uh, and uh, world-wide uh, known uh, scientist had connections with Timisoara, uh, but uh, uh, with the exception of uh, um, uh, Laszlo Farkas, I didn't find uh, somebody else investigating uh, uh, this relation, which uh, even for today is uh, uh, on the is on. I speculated on uh, on this subject. Uh, why was his name related to to uh, Timisoara? Okay, to, toward the end of the of the 19th century, um, uh, it start uh, flourishing the popular astronomy uh, uh, writings, uh, articles in magazines, newspapers. Um, it continued uh, in the uh, first uh, half of the 20th century. Um, from, uh, from the uh, Second World War, it started in Timisoara the um, academic uh, uh, astronomy, where uh, Professor Ioan Curia is the most known figure. He was followed by, by uh, uh, Laszlo Farkas, the director of, uh, of observatory in Timisoara, the observatory founded by Ioan Curia. And we get uh, also to, uh, to uh, the amateur astronomers, the popular astronomy, sidewalk astronomy, telescope uh, making, uh, uh, which is very interesting. Now, all of these, if we look uh, 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 to all of this, is giving a picture uh, how the knowledge uh, of astronomy started in the, uh, in the uh, Banat region and uh, how it developed uh, uh, up till today. <laughs> what uh, is one of the main things uh, I can say about this chapter is that uh, I have uh, uh, more things I write them down and then in, intend to investigate uh, further. Because as I uh, told uh, at the start, uh, Count Marsili, during the wars between, between uh, the Habsburgs and the, the uh, Turkish uh, Empire, um, uh, he made the first uh, uh, coordinate determination using astronomical uh, means. Yes. But uh, there is something which uh, I didn't found that somebody investigated, and it is very interesting. I, I, for now, it is just a personal uh, conviction. I don't believe, I don't believe that uh, the Austrian Empire built such huge fortifications, star, uh, uh, you know, the fortifications from Oradia, from Arad. In Timisoara was a, uh, a fortification. They had the form of a, of a star. For, for the weapons of uh, those times, these fortifications uh, were uh, practically uh, um, inexpugnable. You, 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 cannot, you, cannot, uh, uh, you cannot break them. 
yes break you cannot yeah. uh, break yeah. them I, and i don't believe i don't it is uh, once again it is my conviction i don't believe that austrians made such huge investments without without uh, uh, um, scientists making very precise very accurate um, uh, coordinated determinations but i don't find anywhere uh, uh, something uh, about uh, about this then uh, uh, we come to to the episode uh, uh, about uh, the northern part of uh, of uh, transylvania when it wa was during the second world war under the ruling of uh, um, uh, 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 hungary uh, during the regime of uh, of horty now this this happened this is history we don't look in the political uh, uh, sides but i don't understand why the observatory in cluj is not uh, making uh, uh, researches in this field because because something that i find out just because i am a member of the hungarian astronomical association the mert uh, 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 refractor telescope of uh, 25 uh, centimeter aperture during that period was uh, doing work in, in the observatory at, uh, at Cluj. In, in okay. this time, uh, this is also unknown, but it was confirmed to me by, by uh, astronomer uh, Turku from, mm -hmm. uh, from Cluj. The 50 centimeter um, uh, Kuder reflector from Cluj was in Timisoara. Mm. following the astronomers from Cluj who took refuge in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Timisoara. Now, what I want uh, uh, to say, leaving apart uh, uh, all, the, all the things uh, 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 political, uh, on the scientific side, uh, we need to, to know what were the scientific, the astronomical activities uh, made with the Mertz refractor uh, at Cluj. Uh, there was a, a couple of years uh, this happened. It was that Kuder uh, 50 centimeter uh, reflector, Newtonian reflector in Timisoara, it was set up. There were made uh, observations with it. We don't know. Simply, we don't know, uh, because uh, because uh, our researchers, um, for uh, reasons I don't understand, when they hear about this, they are looking somewhere else. Why? These are things that uh, that uh, uh, already happened. All right. Uh, okay. And, okay. And, uh, you you got my point. Yes. I, I yes. Want, yes. Uh, I want of this to take the good part out of it because, uh, for example, the the refugee of the scientists from the observatory in Cluj in Tutimishwara during that uh, period in World War II, that was the start of the academic astronomy in Timisoara. So why keep on uh, 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 talking about negative uh, uh, aspects uh, without highlighting also there was some uh, good important uh, um, uh, results. Because during that refugee we had in Timisara, it was a flourishing of, uh, of um, uh, papers astronomical papers from uh, uh, scientists like uh, like uh, Pervulescu, uh, Caius Jacob uh, 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 and and so on so uh, these uh, subjects uh, uh, need uh, more investigation mm -hmm. and i would like to see the the uh, article written by by uh, uh, Dr. Laszlo Farkas, the former director of the Observatory Timisoara, about uh, about uh, Laurent Oetves in uh, in Timisoara, because Laurent Oetves, it is it signed uh, is he he had the autograph uh, in uh, in the album Amicorum of uh, astronomer Bakhuizen from uh, Belgium, mm -hmm. and is written Temeshvar. Uh, uh, yeah. Aside of uh, of uh, uh, I, I am very curious to know wh what was that. I I strongly believe that it is related to his uh, to his gravitational pendulum, 
Because mm-hmm. Etwesh, uh, the work of Etwesh was uh, was one of the one of the pillars of the uh, theory of relativity of Albert Einstein. Here we are not uh, playing with small uh, things. Uh, I would like to investigate more the interaction between uh, between astronomers from Timisoara and those from uh, from Serbia, from mm-hmm. uh, from Belgrade. Because about those, uh, about the influence of uh, astronomers from Bayo, for example, from uh, uh, Hungary, uh, we know uh, something. Uh, I would like to investigate more the uh, relation uh, also with with Serbian astronomers because they helped. They they sent documentation to to Timisoara, but I don't have many details. I hope uh, Professor Dimitrovich Mir will help me in the future. Uh, to, to go deeper in uh, this. So uh, I, I, am, I am preparing for a second uh, revised enlarged uh, edition. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yes, and unfortunately, Milan, Mil, Milan, Milan uh, said he would join. He, he uh, ultimately he hasn't. So uh, maybe uh, he couldn't. Uh, it would have been interesting to hear his uh, own opinion about this. Uh, so yes, uh, as, as you can see, a lot of uh, things uh, happening, uh, a lot of uh, history behind Banat, uh, and uh, we know some, uh, we are still researching uh, a lot of it. So this is just a, a primer, a first uh, edition, if you wish, which uh, uh, we hope to uh, improve. Um, in, in, in the years to come. And uh, we also, uh, uh, some of the research is also um, um, showing in the uh, Romanian Society for Astronomy and Culture, European Society for Astronomy and Culture. So we, we are working uh, and publishing these things there. But I think this, this is a nice collection, uh, giving a first overview of, of the Romanian landscape and the Serbian landscape, mostly in, in, in Banat. Um, and, and it's the first one written in English. So hopefully it will uh, shed some, some light and it will uh, raise some interest in, in, you know, in visiting, in researching. And uh, I hope I hope it happens uh, even uh, this year because uh, Timisoara is the uh, 2023 European Capital of Culture. So, and most of the sites that are in the book can be um, visited uh, by car, uh, most of them. And uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, in a way in a way I think that this uh, volume. Uh, is related and has uh, has grown together with um, with this uh, 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 journey to to having Timisoara as, as a, a capital of culture. Um, thank you all for your time and, and attention, and um, I am um, looking forward to seeing you all uh, again and then to continue our work together so uh, thank you and um, have a lovely rest of the day okay see you bye 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 -bye. (laughs) 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 drink for the book (laughs) <laughs> okay. Cheers. <laughs> <You're lost>. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh. Cheers.